it's Cassie again and welcome back to my vlogs. So today I'm going to talk about, this is going to be kind of a pre um, Disney vacation haul. So just a reminder, I'm going to be leaving for Walt Disney World in about a month. So today I'm going to explain things like Disney bounding, um, things you, that you can buy to Sorry, my computer just spazzed out. Things that you can buy um, to help you prepare for your trip and other things that you can make yourself to make your spending or to reduce your spending money. Wow, I cannot talk. Like it's been a long day. So just things that you can do, like crafts you can make. You can, there are all kinds of things on Pinterest, on YouTube, online that you can find to make your own kind of crafts. Like for example, I made my own autograph book. I don't know if you can see it. It is um, from Shutterfly, and it, this is a more pricey um, autograph, but I think it's really nice. See, they have, there are certain websites on Disney that will show you that you can get the templates to get these pictures. So there's this one, there's this one right here, I don't know if you can see it, and on the back has the same picture with the castle with the fireworks. But it just says my name, it just says Cassie's autograph book. And it says for Walt Disney World, I think it says Walt Disney World, April 2015. So inside my book here, and then, oh, and the front cover has got the partner statue in there. So this is the first thing that I got to prepare. And then I have different pages, like there's Donald and Mickey, that they can sign it. And then this time we're going to Chef Mickey's again, and I, that's probably my favorite place to eat in Walt Disney World. So I have a page somewhere here. Oh, so Chef Mickey, so it's a really neat page. See, it's got the, I mean, you can't see that, there's a really bad glare there, sorry. There's the monorail and there's like just the whole background in each, um, the whole background of the contemporary and actually we are staying at the contemporary so this will be really nice. Let me get my mouse out of the way there. Sorry about that. So there's each of the characters. So there's Mickey, Minnie, um, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto for them to sign. And then I just have a bunch of different. This one I made on Shutterfly. And again, I will link in the description below the link that you can get these templates to get all these pictures. And they there's a certain site, and I will even do a separate video if you're interested, so you can find these templates and you can just go on Shutterfly and you can design how your um, autograph book however you want. So I just have different ones in here and in there. I also, before I go to Disney World, um, usually months and months in advance, I will buy guidebooks. So even if I'm not going on a trip, sometimes I get one. So I have a 2014 Disney official guidebook. This is very colorful. I like these ones because it's very colorful and it has lots of pictures and, and the descriptions are good so that's one of those and I also have the 2015 and the 2015 one actually comes with a little insert about the cruise line so if you're interested in the cruise line this is good and they also have this same brand of um, guidebooks also has a cru uh, one devoted just to the cruise so there's that one I also got little ones like this this is an unofficial um, guidebook and it also has stuff about Universal and this one's also very colorful and has lots of pictures a lot more words than the other one and but I do like this one as well and this is the 2014 edition and also has information about Universal and other places in Orlando and also I got uh, this book um, it's called The Hidden Magic of Walt Disney World and it just has, it says here at the bottom that there's over 600 secrets about the Magic Kingdom and all the other parks. And I've read this whole thing already cover to cover and that's pretty interesting. Also, a long time ago, before I even knew about this trip in particular, because we had a situation, um, my sister is a senior in high school this year and she's really into musical theater as well as I am. And she got the lead this year, which was actually when we were supposed to go on our trip. So we had to, unfortunately we had to cancel our trip so she could be in the show and we moved it to April. But before that, during the summer, I made 
a savings jar, so this has all the change I've been saving up for souvenirs and whatnot, and I decorated it. This thing, this thing is filled with stickers, so this was just a little project I did, and it just has all the change and small bills that I saved up from working and such, so I can have money for souvenirs, so I made that. Now, so this trip, I just recently heard about a thing called Disney bounding. So this time I am going to do that. So to explain what Disney bounding is, it is just dressing like a character wearing everyday clothes. So for example, I have decided to do, when I go to the Magic Kingdom, I want to do Snow White. And so what I did, Snow White is my favorite princess. She has been ever since I was little when I called her Snow White. So this is just what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wear these yellow shorts and they're so cute. I got them at J. Crew, and these are actually more on the cheaper side of J. Crew. and if I have prices I'll try to tell you in case you're interested but this one doesn't have the price on the tag. I ordered it online from J. Crew, and so they're just um just some yellow shorts so that's going to be part of my Snow White and then I'm going to wear this really cute blue tank top and I will probably wear a um, another tank top underneath because it does have holes in it so I'll wear that and then um, a friend of mine is going to lend me a really cute little red bow and I don't have that right now I couldn't find her to borrow it to show you guys but a little cute red bulb. So this is just a good example of Disney mounting and I'm sure I will post my blog my vlogs and you can see you know what I wear to the parks this year. So that's that one. And you know that was our first example. So now I'm gonna kinda go over all of the outfits that I'm going to wear. And so and we leave the um 19th of April and we live you know well I go to um, school in South Dakota like I said but not too far from where I live in South Dakota is our small town that I'm from is in Wyoming so we're flying from Wyoming and we're actually flying to Denver Colorado and then down to Orlando so it's going to be a long traveling day we probably won't we won't get to Florida till about midnight so our, my first outfit that I'm going to wear, I'm going to have a pair of jean shorts, but those are kind of boring so I'm not going to show, but it can get cold on the planes. So I'm going to wear this, I picked up this Minnie Mouse shirt, I ordered it online from the Disney store, and it just has Minnie on the back, and then a 28, and it looks like 85, but my camera on my computer shows it that way, but this is 28 because she was created in 1928, so I thought this was really cute. And it's really, really big and roomy, which I lo which I love, and it fits nice. And hopefully, this uh, material will shrink a little bit, so it'll fit better. So that's clean outfit. And underneath that, when we get to Florida, it is going to be hot. So I'm just gonna wear jean shorts with this. And I ordered a couple pairs of shoes, which are not in yet, because I just ordered those today. But underneath that, when we get down to Florida, um. I have been to New York a few times and seen um, a couple of Broadway shows and one of them was Aladdin and it is amazing if you're ever in New York. I highly encourage you to see Aladdin but I got this t-shirt and it just says Aladdin Broadway then has the genie on it with the lamp. It's just really simple and simple so I'm going to wear this and we're planning to go to downtown Disney so that'll be a nice casual outfit to wear. And then after that we have reservations to have dinner at the California Grill, which is at the top of Contemporary, which like I said before is where we're staying, so that will be really nice. So I'm going to wear a nicer outfit, and I got this Master, just really nice lace dress, and it has um, a liner, so it's just this nice lace dress that I'm going to wear. And to all, we have a couple of nice dinners while we're on this trip. So I am, for New Year's Eve this year, I got the most adorable shoes that go with almost everything that I have. And, and so I bought these sparkle shoes and they are from DSW. 
I don't remember where I got this. Or, I mean, I don't remember how much these were. Of course, I just told you DSW. Hello. But, um, the lace dress, I do know. I just got this at Target. And I guess I don't know, because this one doesn't have a price on it either. But I'll try to do better with prices. But that's from Target, and the shoes were from DSW. And I actually am going to wear these with all of my nice outfits for dinner. So then, we won't be in the parks, but we will see the fireworks from on top of the, uh, of the contemporary at the California Grill. And that'll be awesome. I cannot wait for that. Then the next day, we're going to Hollywood Studios, and I am doing a Disney-bound outfit. And I love the show Phineas and Ferb, and I am going to be Phineas. So for the top, he wears a cute little orange striped shirt. I found this... I found this really cute orange white striped tank top, and then this is a more of a local store. I mean, they have a couple around the Midwest, but it's from Maurice's. So this is from Maurice's. And this was, maybe this one was right, this was $26 from Maurice's, and Maurice's is quite expensive, so $26 is not bad. So Hollywood Studios, so will be at Hollywood Studios then, and then this will be blue shorts because he wears blue pants, so I'm going to wear these blue shorts and they're high-waisted. And these are from Charlotte Roofs, and these were $24.99, so again, not bad. Um... Then we are have a Fantasmic dinner package that night, so we will be going to another kind of fancy type place. I mean, it's more dressy. I like to dress up. I mean, it, it you for sure need to look up what your dress code, if there is a dress code at any of the restaurants. Sometimes it says resort casual. They just... For the most part, and most of the Disney restaurants, except for some of the, like, the pool bars or stuff like that, they don't want you to wear, go in there wearing swimsuits, or, you know, like, skimpy tank tops or anything like that. But, you know, I mean, if you wear a nice top with some slacks, I'm sure that'll be fine. But I like to dress up a little more. But this, I'm gonna wear this nice dress. I got this at Macy's, and I got this around New Year's Eve, um, sometime this year in Phoenix, Arizona. So I don't have the receipts for this, but I don't know how much it was, but I believe if it was on sale. But I call this my piano dress because if you look at the bottom, it looks like a piano. And it's so cool. And it's the cutest dress I think I've ever had in my life. But this is this, and this is for Hollywood Brown Derby, and I'm so excited for this. It's, oh, I can't even. But then, so there's Hollywood Brown Derby, and we have Phantasmic Dinner Package, like I said. That's going to be totally fun. Fantasmic is my favorite show at Disney World. And we haven't been there for several years. So I'm very excited. So then the next day we are going to Magic Kingdom. And I kind of already showed what I'm doing. But I'm doing my Snow White outfit. Which was the yellow pants. Or the shorts I mean. And this blue top with my red bow. And I ordered just ordered. I started talking about this. But I just ordered three pairs of shoes. I ordered a pair of flip flops. Um, and a pair of flats that are blue that could go with anything and they'll be nice to walk in in the parks. And then a pair of really cute yellow sandals and I'm going to wear those with my snow white ones. But I'm not going to talk about shoes too much because A, they're not here and B, I would talk forever because I love shoes. So then Magic Kingdom, there's that for part of the day. And then I'm hopefully we'll have time to come back to our hotel. We should because we're at the Contemporary so there should be time to come back. But I'm going to change because later that night we are going to see Anna and Elsa. So I have this really cute frozen dress. And I got this one. I ordered on ordered it on Amazon and it came from Hot Topic. And it just has this really cute like blue and black and pink pattern. And it has little, I don't know if you can see this. It has little Anna and Elsa just heads. There's, I think that's Anna and that's upside down. There's Anna. So Anna, or I mean Elsa, excuse me. Elsa is has this black head on the blue background. Right there. There's Elsa. And Elsa is one of my favorites. If they make it into a Broadway show, I want to be Elsa. And 
have ice powers and it would just be awesome and she's so pretty and she was after Snow White she's probably my second favorite Disney princess even though she's technically a queen which is cooler so there's our Magic Kingdom day and we're also going to be our guest and I'm so happy I scored a reservation so I'm just gonna wear that frozen dress there and that'll be good for that too so really excited for that so then the next day we're headed to Animal Kingdom and I'm going to do it kind of casual. We are going on Collie River Rapids, so I want to wear something that won't be too hard to dry, you know, because you get very wet on that. So, um, I'm going to plan on wearing another show I saw in New York was The Lion King, and oh my goodness, this is probably the best show besides probably Wicked. Wicked was pretty amazing. It's pretty hard to beat that, but Lion King... It's my favorite movie, and the Broadway show was even better. I wouldn't actually go that far because they were both amazing in their own way. And I also love Festival of the Festival. I can't talk. Festival of the Lion King. So when I was in New York, I was there for a month last summer, and for a musical theater program. And my mom and my sister and my brother came to visit me, so we went to see the Lion King when they were there. And we were kind of in a hurry when we left, so we didn't really get a t-shirt. But for Christmas, my mom got me this shirt, and look how awesome this is. And it's close up here. It's got the Lion King in the sun. We've got Simba there, like the scene in the, at the beginning of the movie with the sunrise and everything. So that's kind of cool. And then it's got the city in the background, and it says the Lion King. And then it says, I think it says, yeah, it says New York at the bottom. So I'm going to wear this the Animal Kingdom with a pair of white shorts. And this will be nice. It might be a little bit crazy to wear black on a really hot day in Florida, but I think I'll be okay. I'm wearing white shorts. I mean, I'm not going to show those. Those are kind of boring. So there's Animal Kingdom, and then that night we are going to Jiko's, the cooking place. And I'm going to dress up again. I think I forgot this dress at home, but it's a nice, like, teal dress with polka dots. And I'm again going to wear those sh sparkle shoes. And we're in those Jikos, and then we're heading to Magic Kingdom, I think, to watch fireworks inside the park because I really want to catch, celebrate the magic because I haven't seen that yet. So hopefully we can. Our reservation at Jikos is at seven, so hopefully we can go back to Magic Kingdom. Anyway, so I'm gonna bring along some flip flops because it wouldn't be smart to wear these in the parks. I'm just gonna wear these for dinner. I think it'll be all right. So then next day we're heading to Blizzard Beach. And I found online, I was, I thought this was, I thought this was a shirt, and I was going to wear this on the plane and wear it to downtown Disney when we got to Florida, but it actually turns out it's a, it's a dress, but it's more, no, oh, it's backwards, it's more of a um, swimsuit cover-up than anything because of the material, so I'm going to wear this with my swimsuit, and I'm not going to show that on here, but the top of it has a little, little Mickey head, which is really cute. And at the bottom, it has lots of colors and big Mickeys. There's um, just different ones. There's a happy Mickey there. And then there's a angry Mickey there. <laughs> and just different, some of those, and a colored Mickey down there. If I can get it, show it. It's, there's a horrible glare. I apologize again for the glare. But this is a nice cover-up. I'm just going to wear this to the water parks. And then... That night, we are also going to Victoria and Albert's, which is going to be amazing. It's a splurge, and a little disclaimer here, we work hard for our money so we can afford. We're not, I'm not telling you this to brag or show off, but we are going to Victoria and Albert's this night, and um, I bought this dress. I wore it on New Year's Eve, and I really, really like it. It's just a lace three-quarter sleeve dress, and the coolest thing about this is the gold layout and I don't know this glare is just awful it's just got this gold stuff at the bottom it's a really nice dress and again wearing the shoes and then our last day in Disney World we are going to Epcot and I'm going to see Donald Duck Donald Duck is one of my favorite Disney characters and I'm going to I wasn't planning on doing a Disney bound Donald Duck I was going to do a Rapunzel I ordered a dress, it ended up not fitting, being the wrong color, all of that. So instead of Rapunzel, I'm going to do Donald Duck, and yesterday I went shopping with my grandma at Target, 
and I found these really cute overalls and they're blue and they are a little frayed on the bottom they're whitewash jeans but they're blue they're not quite Donald blue but I liked them and I thought they were cute and thought what can I do with these I mean there's not a whole lot of thing, um, Disney characters that you could do overalls with. You could do, like I saw a really cute one, Tom Sawyer Island, or you could do, you know, how Tom Sawyer has the cute little hat and the overalls. But I wasn't really into that. I've never seen Tom Sawyer. I've read Huckleberry Finn and all of that, and it was alright, but I didn't want to do that. And I also, you could do Ellie from Up. But even though I am a huge fan of Up, it's one of my favorite Pixar movies, um, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. So, I'm going with Donald, and I'm going to wear these, and I'm going to wear my yellow shoes, which I don't have right now. They are, I just ordered them today, so maybe I'll do another shoe vlog. If you would like me to do a shoe vlog, you comment below, comment below, and ask me to do a shoe vlog, but I'm going to just do a white shirt with this, and my yellow shoes and my red bow for my Snow White outfit. So there you go, that's everything that I'm going to be wearing to Disney World. Oh wait, I forgot. We are also spending one day in Universal Studios. We're going to see the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is going to be awesome. Never been to any part of Universal, so that'll be cool as well. Um, since I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and Disney fan, I combined the two and found this adorable shirt, which unfortunately I don't have it. Um, maybe I'll post a comment down below. But I left it at home, but it's just a simple tank top and it has a picture of Dory and she has a Dumbledore beard and a Dumbledore hat and it says Dumbledore and it is the cutest thing. So I'm just going to wear that with some jean shorts. So now that is everything that I'm going to be wearing on my trip and I'm sorry this video is a long video but that is my pre-Disney haul if you want to call it that. And that's everything for her clothing that I will be bringing to Disney World. And I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And please, as usual, please, please, please subscribe. And that's it. Bye.